Good morning. Good morning, Floss Tube. How are you? My name is Julia, um, also known as Julicious, here on Floss Tube. My pronouns are they and them. And today is Thursday, June the 22nd, 2023, at about quarter after 10 in the morning here in Philadelphia. Um, and it's been a while. <laughs> Um, so we're going to do something a little different today because I like to do my end of month recaps so I can show you what I've been working on, but the end of May was kind of chaotic in my life, just personally and professionally, and I didn't get a chance to do a, what I worked on in May and then I feel like I'm a little too high. We're gonna we're gonna adjust. Um, pardon the noise. Um, that was a book that fell. Um, oh, and you can kind of see the pride flag a little better. Happy Pride Month. Anyway, uh, so I thought, okay, well I'll just skip it. And then June came and I have been working on the same project all month. <laughs> so I wanted to get something out to you. I will try to do a late June, early July video of what I've been stitching on the past two months. So today what I thought I would do is share all of my finishes that have not been fully finished um, in kind of old floss tube lingo that was often called the drawer of shame or the box of shame, where, where whatever you, you use to store your finished projects that you have not fully finished. Um, hesitant to use that term because I'm not ashamed of this. I'm disappointed. And I know what, as I looked through this, I'm going to think, oh man, I really need to do something with this and display it in my home. Um, I really like having framed things and that's not always economical. You know, even, even if money is not a major stressor for you, it's still a chunk of change and not something that can be most of the time taken lightly. Um, especially when we're talking about professionally framing things. I'm not very confident in my own framing abilities and I realize the only cure for that is to do it. <laughs> but here we are. Um, what can I say? Let's get going. Um, a little bit tired. I had a doctor's appointment early this morning. Um, so let's just, and things are just in a pile right over here. So as I pick things up and show them to you, I will roll them uh, neatly. And this is in no particular order. What I'm gonna show you first, this is the first thing I ever stitched on 40 count. It was a freebie. Um, what did I use for it? I think I used some Jotary Designs cotton floss for this. One over two. The pattern was a freebie that I received. You know, it was a, a freebie that gets photocopied and you, you purchase from an LNS and they include it in your, as a little treat in your order. Um, that I just call weeds for sale. It's cute. I mean, I I thought it was a, a good thing to kind of practice 40 count um, because the first big, big 40 count project I have is in here. Um, and this was sort of making sure that I could do it well before I started that. It would take very little effort to turn that into a pillow or a little flat ornament. Very little effort. 
I don't know what I would do with it though, because it doesn't really speak to me anymore. This, back when I used to do more hard anger, I should have brought something to put behind these, but this was kind of a spur of the moment thing. This um, was a hard anger kit that I got except for the charm. Um, there was supposed to be a snowflake in here. It did not come in the kit and I didn't really want a snowflake. So I found a little spinning wheel charm and put it there. But this is, this is some hard anger. You can see my hand there. Hard anger is, is very fun. I enjoy it. It's very Zen. Um, I know it can be intimidating. Uh, this is 25 count Lugana. And if you are curious about Hardanger, but you are intimidated, I highly recommend this lovely woman whose name I now forget. She's Canadian. She's from Northern Ontario. And her um, YouTube name is Stitching with a Smile. And she has wonderful tutorials. Um, that's how I learned. She taught me. If I remember, I will link um, link a playlist below. Speaking of Hardanger, this is from a Mabel's the U in the UK, Miss Mabel's Mabel's Fancies or something. Um, with DMC pearl cotton and some uh, Jodery designs, variegated pearl cotton on 25 count Lugano. And, oh, this one needs to get framed. This is the only patriotic piece I have ever stitched. The only patriotic piece I likely will ever stitch. This is from Lindy Stitches, um, a stitch for sweet freedom. which I stitched on 36 count linen. This is picture this plus sterling, I think, because this was um, this was left over from um, a Ingleside Imaginarium year long south. Uh, I used the called for colors. I just stitched it on 36 count instead of 32 or 28. A stitch for sweet freedom and one for being kind, two more for diversity, the last for a humble mind. That I could probably slap in a, slap in a frame. Although I think if I had stitched on the call for fabric, uh, a frame, like an eight by 10 or would have would have done but I did not what is this this is some really nice linen is this an R&R &R reproductions I think it is oh I have extra fabric that I could use this is 32 count late uh R&R &R reproductions I don't know. It was the call for for um, the red and the black. This is the red and the black one that I stitched with Anchor Black and DMC gonna bother me <laughs> but no I I don't remember the name of the fabric I'm not even sure I remember who the designer is or is it carriage house carriage house samplings maybe when did I finish this 
2019. At some point, I just stopped signing my work. Um, doesn't really matter. Um, here is... Oh, This, it is a tragedy that this isn't, that this isn't framed. Um, there's a story. So this fabric um, is Lugana. I can't, it, it's been dyed, so I can't tell if it's 28 or 32. I think it's 32. This was meant to be, this was the call for fabric for the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery um, fairy tale, like Once Upon a, Once Upon a Time year long stitch along. And I didn't like it for that stitch along. I wanted something more that looked, looked like parchment or, or paper. So what I did was I chose a different fabric for the Frosted Pumpkin and used this fabric to stitch my very first Cricut collection. Oh, I don't even remember what it's called. When did I stitch this? I finished this in 26, 2016. Once Upon a Midnight Dreary. E.A. Poe, this, what's the name of it? And of course I passed the, I, I, I passed the pattern along, but it's Cricut Collection. Um, using most, no, the only, the only over dyed floss that I used was for the, for the patches on the roof and these little bricks, that's um, Karen? I think it's Karen Water Lilies. Oh, look at that moon. This is so good, guys. Why isn't it framed and in the library? I don't want you to think that I live in a big fancy house that has a library. Just the room that our television is in is also the room with all of our bookshelves. Um, and we have a lot of books. So it's the library slash TV room. Um, uh, there, so good. And then we come to the reason why I generally don't do stitch alongs. Mis okay, I don't do mystery stitch alongs. I tend to get disappointed. So the, this fabric was meant to go with the pattern I'm about to show you, the Once Upon a Time uh, stitch along, mystery stitch along from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. Um, I, used the called for color, the called for overdyes because there were only a couple and the rest is DMC. And the banner at the top originally said once upon a time, but uh, Brittany of Ingleside Imaginarium had the brilliant idea to rechart it to say, read me a story. And I liked that so much that I DM'd her and asked her, when did I finish this? 2016. I DM'd her and asked her if she would share that charting with me and she graciously did because Brittany is a lovely human. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't like cute things, except when I do. I'm fickle. Um, this is Weeks Dye Works uh, in Wren. Not Weeks Dye Works. I don't use Weeks Dye Works. Picture this plus in Wren which I thought gave a more um, old paper look. Um, 
so we have, I'm gonna move my coffee to the side just a little bit. So we have Alice in Wonderland, The Secret Garden, Sherlock Holmes, The Wizard of Oz, Charlotte's Web, Peter Pan, um, The Lady of Shalott, which is actually an epic, tragic poem. But I'm enough of a literature geek to have gotten the reference, so I'm not mad about it. Um, she started to have a little smile, and I didn't think that the Lady of Shalott in her boat ride to death would have a smile, so I just gave her a blank face. Um, Phantom of the Opera, Black Beauty, Anne of Green Gables, which I don't love. I know many people love this story. I am not one of them, but that's okay. Little Women, which I was a little bit miffed about because, and I can remember talking with Garrett Coffee Stitcher. I didn't know how they were gonna pull off Little Women in this amount of space. And I remember saying, unless it's Joe March writing in her attic room, I don't know how they're gonna do it. I hate it when I'm right. And then um, the, the last one originally is charted with A Christmas Carol. I do not celebrate Christmas. Um, and the pumpkins, I guess, knew that there were people stitching this who did not celebrate Christmas. Uh, so they also charted uh, The Great Gatsby. So Gatsby, the green light, money. Um, yeah. It was a lot of work for something that I don't love. So, um, I don't do mystery stitch alongs. And in a few minutes, I'm going to show you a mystery stitch along that I did and loved, and I'm glad I did. Um, that's also a gift that was meant to be given about five years ago. Um, anxiety and depression can be disruptive. I'll just say that. This one is the first thing I ever stitched on linen. And I have a whole bunch of fabric. This is one of the Frosted Pumpkin Alphabet samplers. Um, and it's the knitting, the knitting and crochet one. Um, and this is a 28 count opalescent something, whatever came in the kit. It's all DMC. My first, first time stitching on linen. I don't love the color of the linen, but at the time it was like, I don't care. I'm stitching on linen. So. I've got quite, quite a bit of that fabric left. I might, um, maybe I'll do a little, a little giveaway or, or something like that. Some, just some odds and ends someday. Um, next one is my first time stitching a, what are you? They do the Santas, Prairie Schooler. Uh, forget the name. This is on raw lamb's wool linen. Um, I don't love it. Like I can hold it, I can hold it like this. That's how stiff it is. That's how stiff it is. <laughs> Miserable to stitch on. Uh, really like how it turned out. 
that should be framed. I think this is 32 count. Oh, yeah, don't love this linen. What, oh, this one, this one is my treasure. Um, Plum Street Samplers, Nantucket Girl Song, 40 count, was this Lakeside? Don't know if it was Lakeside or R&R Reproductions. I have a birthday coming up. I might ask Josh to get this framed for me. It was charted in NPI silks. I stitched it in DMC and I don't think that I, I, I don't think that it suffers for that. I'm so proud of this. It needs to be ironed again. So proud. It says, then I'll haste to wed a sailor and send him off to sea for a life of independence is the pleasant life for me. But every now and then I should like to see his face, for it always seems to me to beam with manly grace. With his brow so nobly open and his dark and kindly eye, oh, my heart beats fondly toward him whenever he is nigh. But when he says, goodbye, my love, I'm off across the sea. First I'll cry for his departure and then laugh because I'm free. I think I passed this to Jesse if Jesse Marie does stuff. Um, we were at a retreat together. The one out, the one in Reston, Virginia. Stephanie Ms. Oh So Crafty runs. That one. Stitch Fest. Um, and I had some things for the freebie table and I said, hey, does anyone want to look through here and have first dibs? And uh, Jesse chose this one and I think an ink circles. But, oh, I love it so much, guys. This, this is going to be a priority. It's huge. It's going to be expensive. worth it. Oh, so good. Okay. Next, what's the swan? Oh, this is one of Coffee Stitcher's designs um, that I stitched for him. This is on a 28 or a 32 count lambswool linen and it's like a polka dot. Um, some days you're the house, some days you're the witch. Yeah. And I chose to stitch, um, in, in the book, the slippers are silver and in the movies, they're ruby. I chose to do the Murphy movie version. I remember we were talking, Garrett and I were talking about that because he was, they were stitching theirs in, um, silver um, for one sort of like model stitch on the Etsy shop and I stitched the movie version to kind of so people could see see what was going on. So speaking of of stitch alongs, mystery stitch alongs, one that I did and I loved that I stitched on a 36 count sterling from Picture This Plus was the uh, Dragon, the Gargoyles of Notre Dame series. Uh, Brittany went to Paris and was very inspired by uh, the big window in Notre Dame as well as the Gargoyles. And so she designed this and this is a gift from my cousin Look at that. 
she is the queen of backstitch, but it is so worth it. It just makes everything sing. And this is still available if you're interested. I think it needs a round frame. Okay, here is one of the first ones I did Um, this I found it on Etsy. I can't remember the name of the shop, but I know it's still there. Um, this is on 14 count oatmeal Ada using DMC Mos Eisley. Bless this wretched hive of scum and villainy. This would not be hard to fit, finish, like fully finish. Not at all. Um, I think I made a few changes, uh, mostly because I didn't have a full set of DMC. This was one of my beginner projects, but it turned out. Next, another sampler. This is a relatively recent finish. I think last year, maybe the year before. Um, I need to unpick a few things because they don't show up very well. This is the uh, Witch's Garden Sampler, I think. Witch's Garden Sampler by uh, Not Forgotten Farm. 40 count uh, vintage country mocha. I have lots of extra fabric. And some things don't show up very well. Like the person in the coffin, their head kind of doesn't really, really show up. Um, a few letters. It just seems it's, I, I I should have changed some things. I love this funky alphabet. Uh, Henbane, Mandrake, Catnip, Brew, Mugwort, Nettle, Fever, Few. Uh, grow ye well in thy garden, sit a spell in my garden. Till and toil, tend thy soil. And as this body too must die and my mortal frame decay, so must these nimble hands of mine lie moldering in the clay. Yeah, there's a there's a date down here. I I need to stick that in the gray, maybe. Even on 40 count, this is a big one. Need to figure out where where I'd put it because a uh, wall real estate in my in my office slash craft room is at a premium. I don't have a lot of space on the walls. Um, I have a random it's you I like. I stitched a whole bunch of these um, to make into pillows to give to people and I have one left. This is scrap linen and over dyed floss I don't really recognize. Um, but this is the brainchild of Diana, it is Kismet, and uh, uh, Michelle of uh, Bendy Stitchy. And it's free and you can find it because it's a movement, not a sell. Next I have, oh, this is, is this by the Bay? It's by the Bay Needlework. This is a by the Bay Needlework and I've given the, the pattern away, but it's really, really sweet. I stitched this on 
32 count haunted by picture of this plus which i think is the called for fabric it's not showing up very well that's that's better i could have um I could have placed this better because I had I had I stitched this way and had moved it up, I could have more for another more fabric for a, another small. But we live, we learn. That wouldn't take very long to to finish either. Just get a little frame. I don't know that I would do it as a pillow. Oh, I have some more It's You I likes. <laughs> like you see, uh, this I think is a, uh, this is a silk. I think this is a Dinky Dyes. And this is Gloriana, maybe? I, I just stitched a whole bunch in case I needed them. This is a Northern Expressions needlework sampler. This, um, they collaborated with Stitchy Box and did band samplers. Um, this is the, it's not Rhodes and Rice. It's Eyelets. It's the first one. I stitched it with a Jotary Designs cotton and a shade of teal DMC that I thought would look nice. Um, and some beads. This is 28 count Jobelin. This one's about six or seven years old. It's really not It's prettier in person. It's really not focusing very well. The camera is not really focusing well. Um, which is a shame. No plans for that. Um, my one and only Chatelaine on 32 count linen. This is. I think I paid the total of five euros for this. Um, the fly agaric mushroom. I need to I need to put in some effort to fully finish that because I want this displayed in my house. I love mushrooms. Love mushrooms. Um, I would love. I love the idea of someday st stitching the Chatelaine um, Mushroom and Fern Mandela. In real life, I don't know that that's ever going to happen. Because, uh, I don't know. I have heard, I, I have watched people stitching Chatelaines go through ordeals and I don't know that I want an ordeal related to my hobby. Famous last words. Here we have, this is from a cross stitch magazine. This is on a limited edition spooky fabric from XJU Designs. I love XJU Designs. It is another, this is another example of me not thinking critically about my use of fabric. Um, like this is really washing out. I need to put something behind this. But I don't think it's gonna do the fabric, the fabric justice. That's a little better. Welcome if you dare. I could have done so much with this fabric. 
Can't change it now. That could be a pillow, maybe. And I think I can handle that. I can handle making a pillow. I know I can. Um, <laughs> almost done. This one you've seen this year. This was a finish this year. The Flavor of Salt, Wind, and Sun. This is an RTO kit. I stitched it with uh, Christine from Calico. I do not want this to be unfinished for long because I really love it and I want to hang it somewhere. So we'll see. <laughs> Uh, this is another finish from this year. This is the Loose Rooster. I have all the finishing stuff for it. I just don't know if that's going to get done this year. And this one, I was invited to a stitch along with Diana, is it is Kismet, with Emily Eclectic Possessions, and with Michelle Bendy um, for this Not Forgotten Farm piece that I stitched. I used Anchor Black and a bunch of color and a few color and cotton. Industry is the best cure for melancholy. I love this. I stitched this. This is a really rustic 32 count linen. I don't know where I got it, but it's perfect for this piece. And I need to fully finish this because I don't know why I haven't. Um, it needs to be flat. I'll have to mull this one over. But yeah, that's the drawer of shame. And we're not quite 40 minutes in, so. I have one thing here that I'm not sure I should show you because it's something I designed myself. Um, and it's just a quote that I stitched. It's not my quote and it's not my alphabet. I pilfered the alphabet from the City Stitchers um, Starry Night Sampler pattern. Um, but I had it in my brain and I wanted to get it out. So I charted it and stitched it. Um, I got a pack of like ornament cuts from Leslie of Under the Sea Fabrics. And this, um, this is my first time stitching on Vertle. And it's really nice. Like Sarah Stitch and Mommy stitches um, over one on 40 Count Vertle on uh, quite a few of her not quite a few, but on a few of her full coverages. And it's really nice. I might have to try it. Because anyway, um, there's a swear. There's a swear in this. I'm going to put it behind another fabric. So um, this is going to be a present for somebody. I don't know watches my stuff anymore, so that's okay. Not my quote, not my alphabet. It is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, that's what I got. <laughs> I appreciate you guys taking the time to hang out with me. Um, I should have I should have said at the beginning if you're new here welcome um, and if you're returning thank you so much I love you and I appreciate you and what time is it almost 11 we did pretty good all right friends I will catch you around the internet take care of yourselves be kind to others do the right thing black lives matter and uh 
black trans lives, especially this month. Take care, everyone.